It just let go. And I've done most of the valve stem seals, so I've already lacked the valves underneath. I've got new injector tubes. I got them broached in. I got Sean to do them at Precision for me. So then that won't be a coolant leak option now because they're all brand new. So I'll go ahead and finish these last two valve stem seals. I made this little tool here to, to pull them out or to pull the collets out. Just screw it on. I was using this magnet. I'm just pulling these little um, collets out. The same on this one. Pull them off. And I was just giving everything a really nice good clean as well before I put it back together. You get them off, you just grab it around there like that. Give it a wiggle. And off it slides. As easy as that. Now a little bit of oil on that valve stem. Just to lubricate the valve. And help the seal go on. The new valve stem seals here. Now I found a socket that fits perfectly over the that rubber the actual seal and the spring so it doesn't damage it but it actually is just enough that it hits the shoulder so it's not going to damage anything it's just going to gently press it down and on so i've already oiled those shafts up so there's a nice little bit of oil on there I'll sit them on sit my socket on and just give them a real gentle tap Seats just like that. That's the valve stem seals done. Now just put the springs back on, the valve springs back on. Use my tool again and drop the collets in. The head's ready to go back on, it can be bolted back on. Under here, I've got two left. I'm doing the main crank carrier bearings. Drop those bolts out. Oh, there we go. Alright, so that's the bottom off. Then all I've been doing is getting on the edge of that bearing there. Yeah, I'm gonna push like that. I'm grabbing my pry bar. Just gently grabbing the edge of the bearing like that. And rolling the old shell out like that. And you can see there, that shell's not too bad. This is the bottom of it. So it's got a fair bit of wear. You can see the copper on that white metal. So it's pretty worn out. I'll clean the crank up a bit and make sure it's all good. And then I'll roll new ones in, which look a bit better. They look like this. Roll them in and that's the mains done. I've got two more of them to go. Got the first liner in. Just a bit of a practice run, and now I'm going to put this second one in. Start with cleaning it out. Grab two O-rings, and I'm just going to put all this rubber paste on them. Get them all nice and sticky. That'll help them seal. So this is why the engine leaked, I reckon, in the first place. This is why I'm rebuilding it. So these new seals, and with the new liners, we should be... Good to go. So now these go down, there's two grooves down in there. They're a real fiddle to get in. So right, there's the first one, that went in easy. A little bit more grease. Grab my brand new liner. Now I did test fit all these and I checked them with a dial indicator to make sure that, so they're all flush, dead flush. This is what we're after. So the O-ring seal on these, on that sh like shaft there. So I'm gonna put more of this grease, smear that around it. Make sure that shoulder's are free from any dirt, any particles. Check those O-rings are seated still, and then drop it in very gently. And that's it. Two down, and now I've got four to go. It's the last liner to go, and they're all done. Try 
drop it in and I've just been giving it a little turn, getting ring, boom. I've installed all new big ends. They're slotted, the old ones weren't. So reservoir almost, just to pick up the oil. All new piston rings, oil rings, everything. And I cleaned the pistons up, now they're ready to go back in. So I'll oil them up, drop them in. Assembly lubing the brand new big end shell. And the arrow on the top of the piston faces forward. Now the ring end gaps, it's saying, don't put them near the, the piston wrist pin or the thrust side. So the engine's spinning this way. So the power stroke is going down against that side of the liner. So it's saying don't put them there. So I'll sit that one in the middle and then the other two off to the side. Now I'm gonna oil it all up just with fresh engine oil and the liner too. And then I've got this ring tool, I suppose you'd call it. So that sits over like that. And then you tighten that up. I've got the crank all the way down the bottom. Let's get the piston in. And that's that. Now I'll go down underneath with the cap. I'll just go down with the torque wrench. Drop the piston down onto the crank. <laughs> Pistons are in, everything's nice and clean. The head's nice and clean, ready to go. Ready? Yep. You alright? Yep. You just drop your side. I'll drop my side first. It's got to go gently onto the dials. That's probably right, yeah. Just lift yep. that a bit. Yep. Oh, like a glove. Right, eh? Thank you. Now I can put all the fucking bolts in. Right, eh? A bit of oil on all the push rods. They can go in. Let's hit the rocker gear on. So I've still got to talk the head bolts, but this has to go down first because. The head bolts go through here. Right, oh, here we go. 130 foot pounds of torque on the head. I'll crank this down. Wow, that's tight. I've got a machine block of steel so we know it's perfectly flat. I've got some wet and dry sandpaper and you wrap that around and then just just some dirty old water. Wet up the paper and then run it along the manifold. And then if I grab a rag, it shows you the low spots and the high spots. So you just do that until I get a nice shiny surface all the way around and all the ports and then I could put the manifold back on. Surface the manifold, it looks pretty good. Now yeah, I'm about to bolt it on. Manifold gaskets on, the brand newies. And goes the manifold. All right, now I'll bolt them up. Take manifold, all ready to go back on. All cleaned up, new gasket. Now this time, this build I've been using just grease on these paper gaskets. Saw it on another YouTube video. So we'll see how that goes. Normally I put Permatex or like a sealant on them, but it sort of makes it hard to take everything off if you ever have to. Finally ready to put the injectors in. Dropped a couple of washer in already. Now all I have to do is drop the injector in. Copper washer on.
Lovely. Right, oh, I'll put this return line on. Fritzy helping me, and we're just going to check the valve clearances. All the valve clearances are the same 0.406 millimeters. So, intake and exhaust are the same on this motor. Good. Right, now rotate it. Later. Yep. So when one's down, I'll check the one that's up. Yep. Rocket cover going on. And then we can fill her up with fluids. And see if it runs or not. Hey. We're getting there. Some ice cube juice. Get with gold. Actual liquid gold. You excited, Fritz? Yeah. Bit of 1540. I'm gonna bleed the injectors. Alright, go. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, we got fuel. At that back one. The battery's losing oh, the steam. No, but it's 24 volt, so. Let her eat, brother. Hopefully it starts and gets this bit of lightning in the battery, eh? Right, okay. Go. She's alive. Right, now we'll check the oil again. Fritz. Yeah, it's still well over full. Oh, so it probably hasn't sucked it up into the pump yet. Fire me up. Right, eh? Crank her up, son. <laughs> It just let go. The, the thing just went up. Like it, I don't know. And what, my back wheel's on the truck. Yeah. And the ramp's on the ground. Yeah. You can't get out. Let's see if I can drive back at all. 